Hello, welcome to Orphan Espresso. I'm Doug. I'm Barb. And this is the OE Fixie Travel Coffee Grinder. Uh, I'm doing now a video manual. This is the basic manual. You can find the manual at www.oehandgrinders.com. You go through the link of manuals and schematics, or you can follow the QR code that you find inside of the top of the box. Okay? There's a little card in there that gives you the basic instructions, which is really all you need to, to use the grinder. But here's a little more information for you, okay? Uh, this is the way the grinder come, appears out of the box. Make sure you don't throw the bag away because this Tyvek bag is all folded up and it's in the very bottom of the box to act as padding for the titanium jar, okay? So you'll notice that in the bag, there's a little pocket. Okay, can you see the pocket in there, Barb? Yep. There's a little pocket. This is where you put the handle. Okay, so you put the handle in there, drop in the, the fixie grinder. Done. Ready to travel. Okay, that's the bag. Parts of the grinder are, this is the carbon fiber handle. This is the knob. This is the aluminum drive disc. Top nut. These are fixie discs and tuner shims. This is our hopper assembly, titanium cup, seal system. The burr is inside of here, okay? Those are the parts of the grinder for discussion. Now, we do note, how do you take the jar off? Sounds like a simple thing, but you don't pull straight off like this. The design of the seal is that it resists straight movement. It's so easy to crack it open like this. Just crack it open at an angle. Once again, resist this movement. It's not designed to open it this way because you have coffee in it and you pull it and you spill coffee everywhere. It's designed very sophisticated. Just a quick opening like that. That's the way to open it. Where you put it on, push it straight on, give it a little twist. Once again, open, straight on, little twist. Okay, it becomes a natural movement. Now, the grinder uh, comes out of the box with these discs and the white shims captured under this nut for travel, okay? Now, I will get set up for doing a first grind, okay? Take off your stack. Another way to do this is you just hold it with your hand from the side. Just put, just hold it. This is the way I do it. I just hold it with my hand and I manipulate the top of it. Now the reason you have to hold it or put it on a surface is because this is basically free to be removed, which makes cleaning very easy. You can get in here with a brush. You can clean this off, okay? To in install it, you just push it through the bottom bushing, through the top bushing. Now, what do we have here in this system? Okay, this is our adjustment system. We have one, that's the fine disc, which is the thickest, two, this is the, oops, two, that's the medium disc, which is medium, and this is the coarse disc with three marks on it, that's the thinnest disc. Also, you have, what do you need? I can't quite see the marks on the can top. can see the marks there. on the top. See the one? Yep. See the three? Yep. And the medium two. Medium has two. Medium has two. Okay, those have the little holes. You can also tell by the thickness. This is the thickest, that's the thinnest. Fine is thickest, coarse is thinnest. Makes sense. Okay, now you have these four Teflon discs. You have two thick ones and two thin ones, okay? The thin ones are 0.1 millimeter thick, the thick ones are 0.2 millimeters thick. Okay, we'll get to that later, but let me just grind some coffee to show you how you set it up. Now, I hold this like this. I'll select the medium disc, okay? Put the medium disc on. I take my handle with drive disc, and it's got a square slot, so I find the proper orientation of the square, like that, push it down, and then I put in the top nut. Tighten it all the way down, okay? That, this creates the gap in the bottom, okay? There's my burr gap for medium grinding, straight out of the box. 
Okay, now we have noted that this, the simplest way to fill the grinder through this square port is use the catch jar corner to corner. It pours very easily. You don't spill corner to corner, all right? We made this as small as we possibly could to maintain as much structural rigidity in this carbon fiber. You come on, you put your, your little cover on one corner, you snap it in place, okay? Beans are in, put on my catch jar, little twist. All right, grinding action is you turn the handle clockwise, okay? But you use two hands to grind, not just one. So you take your hand and make two little circles. I move both my hands at the same time. Okay? Just like this. Medium grinds, very easy, very effortless. I'll have to talk about the grinder. The grinder's quite quiet, but iPhones always amplify grinder noises. Okay? We've got about 10 grams of beans. Okay, we'll grind through until it's completely quiet. Now, before I open it, I take it straight down. Titanium, strong as steel. How, what, what's, the, what's the comparison, steel and titanium and weight? I uh, don't remember exactly, a lot lighter. but it's a lot okay, lighter. A lot lighter. <laughs> Tap it down. That knocks off any grounds on the burr, and it also knocks the grounds down into the bottom of the cup. Now you're ready to dispense it, pour it wherever you want to. Okay, back on. Now, I'll just give you a little tip that if you have uh, a residual particle of coffee in there or something like that, you hear there's a little something, you can just take this and pull it together and you kind of move it like a pepper grinder. This is just safe. It's just a little coffee in one of the teeth. That was what was in there, okay? It won't hurt the burr. Once again, you want to finish it off. Instead of taking it out and cleaning it, you just pull the burrs together and give it a little rub. Okay, now let me explain this grinding, this adjustment system. I have put in my medium disc. I'm calling that a medium grind. Let's say, in my opinion, it's too fine. I want to make it coarser. With this system that we've provided, this is in a sense a stepped system. And the steps are point or 0 0.1 millimeter. Provided by the shims. Provided by the shims. It's the thickness of this. This is as thick as a piece of A4 paper. 0 0.1. Those are the steps. Okay? So, let me do two different examples that we give in our instruction sheet. Once again, I take the handle off. We emphasize in a number of places that the addition of any tuner shim will adjust a fixie disc in the finer direction. Okay? What you're doing here is that you're making a th slightly thicker stack on top. The more shims you have on top of here, the closer the burrs, the burrs are together. Okay, it works opposite of kind of what you think. So you can get confused here. So let me give you an example. These are my settings, okay? If I'm gonna make a mocha pot, okay? I take the fine disc. Many times this fine disc will be just perfect for AeroPress right out of the chute. Let's say you may wanna make it a little finer. You slide on a thin tuner, which is 0.1. That's a little finer. Okay, you want to make it more, you slide on the point two. You want to make, you want to go a little finer yet, you slide on the point two and the point one. You want to make it finer yet, you slide on two of the point twos. Thick or thin, whatever you want to call them, number or just sort of the words, okay? When I make a mocha pot, I use the, the thin, which is disc number one, I put on a thick tuner, put on my handle, spin this down, and I'm ready to brew for mocha pot. That's my settings, okay? Your settings might be different, but that's the gist of it, is that I take my fine disc, number one, 
I put on whatever combination or number of these. We recommend that you put these tuner shims on top of the disc, okay? It protects them a little better because what you've done here, once you put your handle on, okay, you've created this sandwich and it, it's, the Teflon is protected in here. You can destroy this. I mean, you can tear it if you really try or you can stretch it, but you just put it inside of there. We recommend you put it on the top. You can put it on the bottom if you choose. It doesn't void the warranty or anything like this, okay? Now, this is probably one of the more confusing examples. I've, I set up my medium disc, and remember, you add tuners to make a finer grind. I set up my medium disc, and I say, it's too fine. I'm doing a flat bottom Kalita, or I'm doing a Kono dripper, or I'm doing a, a Clever dripper, for example. So I want to, a little coarser than this medium disc. So I take my coarse disc, and I stop it, I add, make it a little finer, and a little finer. I put on two thick, discs. Now I'm at my next setting above the medium disc. So you have two coarse discs. That's I have a total of 0.4. I have one coarse disc and two thick tuner shims. So I've got 0.4. I've added 0.4. Uh, in the advanced manual, which you might want to look at, in the advanced we give you a lot of math. We tell you exactly how thick all of these parts are, so you can do your own calculations, you know. And how to make your own shims. If you yeah, know. and how to make your own shims if you find that this isn't enough uh, uh, specificity for you, if these, these aren't thin enough. But that's in the advanced manual. This is the basic manual, okay? So that's the basic adjustment, is that every of these thin tuner shims will make a fixie disc finer. As a matter of fact, if you want to grind Turkish, you use the fine disc which is the thick one, number one, and all four. You add 0.6. You can add e even more. You can make it go down, but you reach a point where the, the birds are so close that it's just exercise at this point. Okay, uh, what else do I need to say, Barb? That's how we adjust it. How to clean it. Uh, how to clean it. Uh, as you saw, it comes apart really easily. Basically, many times, if you aren't paying attention, it just, just falls out. That's why you have to hold it. Toothbrush in here, blow some air inside of here, uh, brush off the burr if you choose. Do not put it in the dishwasher. Do not put it in the dishwasher. Yeah, Henry, let me look at this, the rest of the thing. These are the things that you might not read. Um, blah, 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 blah. Don't put it in the dishwasher. Uh, disassemble, just remove the top and the burr comes straight out. Requires no maintenance. Uh, these are low fr friction bearings in the top and the bottom. As a matter of fact, they're made out of uh, Delrin. Uh, our bushings. Um, it's permanently aligned and no disassembly. Uh, you can wash the titanium jar in mild soap and water. Uh, the components are made of materials that are naturally static dissipative. So that means that basically if you don't really need to spray water, if you do RTP as it's called, you don't need to spray water in to reduce static because we've got a very nice static control here with all of our materials. Um, if it ends up in the river, well, let's hope you, it's not a deep river. Just dry it all off, set it in the sun, uh, put some coffee in it to get some oil on the burrs. You should be okay. Expect a break-in period for the burrs, okay? Because when they're brand new, they're real sharp. Uh, uh, we pre-treat them to make the break-in period a little shorter for you, but expect the, the, this to get better with time. Um, uh, this grinder has been used for two months or so one of our pre-productions as you can see it can develop little marks and little character bits on it uh, the parts are all the aluminum parts are anodized the carbon fiber is really a nice piece the titanium is beautiful this is the fixie grinder i think i covered everything in the manual once again i refer you to the advanced manual if you want some numbers and some more uh, discussion about uh, grinding coffee and brewing coffee it's all in there i hope this was helpful and i think that's about it hey Barb? yes i think you got it okay thank you